Why are SS doctors important to the NHS? Currently there are about 13,000 doctors working in the NHS who are in these grades. There are such as specialists, staff grade, non-standard, non-training, uh, trust grade doctors, clinical assistants who are not GP principals, <coughs> CMO and SCMOs, hospital practitioners. Now, what do they do? They, they play a key role in the, in, in the secondary um, services. If you happen to be um, <coughs> going to the hospital, you're most likely to be seen by one of these doctors, especially in the a &E, or if you happen to have an operation in the middle of the night, then you're likely to be operated by these doctors. Why is a new contract important to SS doctors? Reform of the size credit has been long overdue. Lack of recognition of our skills, experience and hard work, coupled with no real career progression and inadequate pay has left majority of the size doctors extremely demoralized. We are the last group of doctors to have our contract sorted out. GP and the consultant, they had their contract in 2003. Junior had the contract in 2002. And we are the last group of doctors. As I mentioned, we are extremely demoralized. When we set out to uh, negotiate our new contract, our aims were very clear. Improve service offered to the patient and enhance the status and recognition of our grade, ensure better opportunity for career progression, achieve improvement in pay, improve terms and conditions of service, help tackle discrimination, implementation of the contract UK-wide. What is the vote on the new contract proposals likely to take place? The Electoral Reform Society are aiming to send out voting papers at the end of February. We still await a formal response from all Devon administration before we can confirm the date. It is also important that all SAS doctors are properly informed before the vote. Will SS doctors throughout the UK be eligible to take part? SSC originally negotiated a UK-wide contract. The letter releasing the contract was very clear. They referred to England only. SSC hopes to, to ask all SAS doctors and dentists across the UK to vote, but we obviously need a <coughs> contract in each country before this can go ahead. How will the BMA keep SAS doctors informed and where can they get a ballot paper? SSC plans to run a series of uh, communication events throughout the UK. In fact, we have got 22 uh, roadshow arranged, it's starting from 4th of February and uh, finishing end of February uh, when the ballot paper uh, will, will go out. Now, one of these, um, <coughs> one of these roadshow will be a webcast, so it will be recorded. It will take a few days to uh, be available on the BMA website. So if you miss the roadshow and want more information, then obviously you have to uh, go on the BMA website to listen to this uh, webcast. Now the, um, the, the whole election process will be done by Electoral Reform Society. We have got the um, database in the BMA. We have our own database. We had the database from external sources and we got, we think that we got the uh, majority of the size doctor on our database and they will get the voting paper. Now if you uh, happen to move the job recent, uh, recently or join the grade then you must inform uh, BMA and you can either go and register it on the BMA website or you can <coughs> ring the BMA uh, London office and the BMA membership department and let them know that the your, your contact detail and will make sure that you will get the voting paper and it's absolutely vital that you you vote in this contract